Hi guys, I wanna show you how to take a picture of two-dimensional artwork using your iPad. We are going to need a flat surface, such as the floor, and the floor works really well because you can be any height and it can still work on the floor really well. So if you're a little small artist, um, maybe in kindergarten or just short statured, then this is gonna work really well having it on the ground. Even if you're really tall, this still is a really good method of how to take a great quality picture that you can upload to any assignment. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our artwork and set it on the ground underneath a table. The ground is flat and the table is flat. They are par parallel to each other. So that's why this works really well. The table can work as kind of a tripod for us. Our iPad is going to be up on the table and in a very safe place. All we want to do is have the camera on the other side peek over the edge of the table. Most of the iPad is on the table itself. Now open up the camera in your, cam your iPad. Place your artwork underneath. Readjust where it is and use your pincher fingers to move in or out. You might have to move the camera. You might have to move your art. Try to get it so it's nicely in the picture frame. Then take your photo. From your camera, you're going to pull up the last image that you just took. Or another way to get there is to go to photos and import the last picture that you just took. Now we're going to edit. Edit is right up here. So let's go up here. And these are the options you have. We're gonna worry about this one right here. It's called crop. It's a square. When you are cropping, you can actually take the corners. You have to be kind of careful when you're doing this and bring them closer to your actual picture. That's gonna allow all of that extra floor around to disappear. You can move this a little bit and tilt it in case it was tilted. Also, when you're in crop up here, this square with a arrow comes up and you can actually rotate it as you want to as well. When you are done getting your picture looking exactly the way you want it, you're going to hit done, which is right up here, done. All right, so now we have a good photograph of the art that we have created. Now that we have our artwork taken, we took taken a picture of it and we've cropped it, we're gonna go into Seesaw and in Seesaw hit the plus button or maybe you wanna add it as a response for an activity. And you're going to choose one of two things. You can choose upload or you can choose drawing. They're gonna look kind of the same. I think I'm gonna choose upload for today. When you choose upload, you get to choose between photos or going from Google Drive or finding another location. Choose the photos at the top. Now mine has been chosen before, so it comes up like this. Yours might ask you, do you want to allow access? You can go ahead and click yes. Once you have this choice available to you, just choose the top. Camera roll is fine, whatever is on the top. That's gonna open up all your photos and you're gonna choose the last one that you were just working on. Is that the one I was working on? I'll click the check and that'll bring me into a drawing. So at this point, you can do a lot of different things. You can add some text to your artwork. You can record about it so you can tell me about it. You can add another photograph. So if I click here, here's the other way that you can upload. So you can take a picture, take a video or upload and it's gonna give you that same thing. So you can choose a picture and hit check. I might add a second one. Let's undo that for right now. You can also add some shapes. You can draw with any of these tools down here, or you can change your background. Sometimes I like to have a nice plain black background for my art. Okay, 
Now that I'm done with this and I'm ready to submit my artwork, I will hit the check mark and it'll move on to my teacher. Page.